So here we have the mini five door hatchback on a 20 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop inside the car and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further, and you can increase it further again by folding this tray section away. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 27,629. Above that, uh, you can change the information displayed there by using buttons, a uh, button on the end of the indicator stalk. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control and speed limiter on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. You'll only be able to use the phone controls uh, after you pair up the phone to the car. And that is done uh, over on the screen in the center just here. You can uh, hit the phone icon, then manage mobile devices to connect your phone. Um, it's all touch screen, of course, or you don't have to use a touch screen. You can use what I'm using now, and that is this dial just here and the collection of buttons that surround it. That dial will do virtually everything though. So for example, you can rotate the dial round to navigation, push it down, you can go down and view your map. You can input destinations. As you can see, it's a nice clear color display. It's a very easy system to use, but we have done a video showing how the SatNav works, which you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. We come back out to the home screen from there. You can access your radio and media menu. This is where, of course, you'll find DAB and FM radio. We have Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. We've also got USB input as well. Below that, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. When you're happy with those settings, that button will turn your air conditioning on. Same button turns it off or hit auto. Uh, and in doing so, the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can override that simply by pressing the auto button at any point in time you wish to. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over here for the passenger side as well. Below that, we have the traction control, which you can turn on and off. We start our engine and stop it from here. And this button turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. That system is turned off when that light shows. We then have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input, and a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.